2018 Subaru BRZ 2018 Subaru BRZ Review The 2018 BRZ remains a straightforward and wildly fun car they are driving but could utilize a more powerful engine. 4 Star Overall Score It doesn't seem that some time ago that we were cooing on the arrival with the Toyota Subaru Twins, a couple almost identical rear-wheel drive sport coupes that have been lightweight, beautifully balanced, easy to operate a vehicle and in simple terms a whole heap of fun. Well, many experts have 5 years, and we're still huge fans on the 2018 Subaru BRZ. And after two consecutive a lot of upgrades, it's now very easy to say that this is the more appealing and that wins. If you're only thinking about the cheapest base versions in that wins, they're practically identical. But if you need extra equipment and additional performance, the Subaru would be the way to go. In terms of creature comforts, the BRZ Limited adds dual zone climate control, push button start, heated seats, and, for 2018, a fresh 7 inch touch screen detailed with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You also know more about the performance package, which adds upgraded sax dampers and Brembo high performance brakes for superior driving dynamics the 86 cannot match. And as there are the new BRZ TS also introduced for 2018. Limited to 500 units, it adds a range of chassis stiffening components, a further tuned suspension, and special exterior and interior planning elements. Plus, as it was tuned by Subaru's STI Group, a carbon fibre pedestal wing is added too for good measure. So, even when the BRZ may be the better choice relating to the Toyota Subaru Twins, you will still find flaws and competitors to take into consideration. The engine would be the main point of contention. Acceleration is okay on paper, but there is however little mid-range punch along with to keep the RPM high to find the most outside of it. That means playing a lot of unrefined racket through the four-cylinder boxer. Competitors are better when it comes to power, refinement, noise as well as fuel economy. There's also something being said for interior space and quality, and several missing precautionary features. Be sure to research a bit. What's new? The limited and new TS trim levels have a welcome infotainment upgrade for 2018, with a brand new 7-inch touchscreen that includes improved functionality, integrated navigation, and Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Speaking on the new TS, it can be limited to 500 units and features special tuning by Subaru's STI performance arm. The suspension is enhanced, the structure strengthened, plus the brakes upgraded. There are several exclusive design elements. We do not believe you'd feel shortchanged with the base model, nevertheless the BRZ Limited is the better choice on account of its new for 2018 7-inch touchscreen and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. These aren't offered at all within the BRZ's twin, the Toyota 86. Its extra creature comforts can also be welcome. We'd also look at the Limited's performance package, another BRZ exclusive, which further sharpens this rear-wheel drive Subaru. Finally, we'd recommend the manual transmission. If you're into driver's cars, it does not take way to go. Trim levels and features. The 2018 Subaru BRZ can be a two-door sport coupe obtainable in three trim levels, premium, limited and low production TS. All of them include a 2.0-litre four-cylinder engine and rear-wheel drive. With the standard six-speed manual, the engine produces 205 horsepower and 156 pound-feet of torque. Those figures dip to 200 horsepower and 151 pounds to feet using the optional 6-speed automatic transmission. Standard equipment around the BRZ Premium includes 17-inch wheels, summer performance tires, LED headlights, a trunk spoiler, heated mirrors, a height-adjustable driver's seat, cloth upholstery, a leather-wrapped multifunction leader, a folding rear seat back, a 6.2-inch touchscreen, Bluetooth many different smartphone streaming audio apps, a USB port, with an 8-speaker subwoofer with a media player interface, an auxiliary audio jack, 
a CD player and satellite radio. Stepping around the BRZ Limited nets you lead fog lights, keyless ignition and entry, dual zone automatic climate control, simulated suede upholstery without a seat portions in black leather, heated front seats, an enhanced trip computer display, a second USB port, along with a 7 inch touch screen that can bring with it integrated TomTom -tom navigation, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Only the Limited is usually fitted with all the optional automatic transmission. Its optional performance package adds Saks performance dampers, Brembo high performance brakes and grey painted alloy wheels. The limited edition BRZTS adds various body stiffening elements, different SDI tuned Saks dampers, black 18 inch SDI wheels, the Brembo high performance brakes, Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tires, a pedestal style carbon fiber trunk spoiler, underbody spoilers, special black finishings on various exterior components. Special cherry blossom red accents exterior accents, and matching red leather on those seat portions which might be black inside limited. It does not develop the limited's lead fog lights. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically can be purchased in multiple versions which might be fundamentally similar. The S on this review depend on our full test on the 2013 Subaru BRZ, 2.0 liters flat 4, 6 speed manual. RWD. Note, since this test was conducted, the actual BRZ has gotten significant updates this past year, including revised suspension tuning and transmission gearing, hook power upgrade, plus the availability of such additional features. It is among the same generation, though, so our findings remain broadly applicable to the present year's BRZ. Driving. The BRZ has sports car handling but a train locomotive that struggles for getting rolling. We love what drives through turns as a result of its classic rear wheel drive balance and effortless steering. A more robust and refined engine would take better benefit from its dynamic capabilities. Acceleration The BRZ's four-cylinder is responsive, however it is not the perfect car to file for aggressively. Mid-range power is noticeably lacking, along with the top end bump isn't enough to create up for this. Look for a 0 to 60 miles per hour duration of about 6.7 seconds, that is okay, but other coupes are noticeably quicker. Braking Initial brake impressions have become good. It's a firm but easy to modulate pedal, though when driven aggressively, the pedal feel becomes a little wooden. The optional Brembo performance brakes may improve this aspect. Steering The quick and precise steering rewards smooth driving, and well damped feedback through the wheel communicates simply how much grip you have on the front wheels. It's the sort of steering you'd hope to obtain from a back to basics car in this way. Handling The BRZ suspension tuning might be more button down compared to its Toyota sibling, the 86. This refinement is enhanced further because of the performance package and also the somewhat stiffer BRZ TS. In any event, the BRZ is lighterweight and balanced. It's both basic and tremendously rewarding they are driving. Drivability The clutch engagement zone is narrow, therefore it takes practice to shift smoothly. At mid-range RPM, the engine fails to deliver when you need it most. Longer highway inclines cannot be pulled in 6th gear. Listening towards the motor moan and thrash has a lot on the enjoyment far from revving out. Comfort To the rare enthusiast, the BRZ might be considered noisy and stiff, that has a distinct insufficient refinement and comfort enhancing features, no power seats available. It won't be for all, however it's still far friendlier than past sport compact cars. Seat comfort the front seats wrap around the body like a glove without having to be too confining like various other sports seats. We found them quite comfortable on longer trips. They do, however, do not have the option of power controls or extra adjustments like lumbar or thigh support. Ride comfort The BRZ's ride isn't punishing being a WRX STI's, in case measured against such sport compact cars, it may almost be deemed plush. When compared to other, 
less sport-oriented coupes, however, it really is indeed around the firm aspect. Noise and vibration. It's not really that the engine is noisy, that may be a benefit in sport coupes, it's so it doesn't sound good. There's also a large amount of road noise, especially for the highway. Driving the BRZ long distances might get old. Climate control. The BRZ could be equipped with dual zone automatic climate control, a function not available for the Toyota 86. Interior. Most controls can be found exactly where you'd expect them for being. Visibility is extremely good, as well as the driving position likely spot on. But don't anticipate to fit people comfortably inside the rear, and materials quality is actually comparatively spartan. Ease of usage. There aren't hidden features, no secret Easter eggs, no hidden menus. Everything concerning the BRZ is clearly visible on the moment you receive in. Getting in, getting out. It's low, though the wide door opening and unobtrusive seat cushion make it very easy to drop into your BRZ. Use the rear seats for bags and cargo considering that the aperture to have in or from them is just too big narrow for most of us to manage. Driving position. Some drivers may find it hard to find the perfect position, seat bottom tilt, please, even so the vast majority should discover the BRZ terrific. You sit low having a surprisingly upright position. The near horizontal steering column is defined perfectly, though more telescoping range will be nice. Roominess. There's ample room for tall front passengers. Only small dogs plus some grocery bags can fit inside the back, so if you are considering an expensive back seat, this probably isn't your kind of car. If you're simply looking for more than a mitre, though, you enter business. Visibility With a tall and wide windshield and also a low hood, forward visibility is quite good. The view out a corner is a little compromised, however the rear quarter windows do help when changing lanes. A fairly high resolution backup camera aids from the tightest quarters, but you want the displayed image was larger. Quality There were no squeaks or idles after the year of testing a BRZ, which is usually a good thing. So, too, may be the first suede around the dash and quite a few trim seats. But that has a sea of black plastic, there is a dated vibe on the BRZ's cabin that may be a turn off for many. Utility With a folding rear seat and trunk created to hold an entire set of wheels and tires as well as a small tail set, the BRZ doesn't have for being reserved only for weekend duty. Small item storage Small, hard plastic door pockets and also a center console tray with removable cup holders are all you will get. The center console isn't protected by an armrest. A small bin forward in the shifter is simply too small to hold smartphones, then when push button start is specified, it shrinks even more. Cargo space. The trunk opening isn't gigantic, nevertheless it can hold a decent amount of shorter size items. The narrow back seat aperture can allow it to become difficult to slide wider items through. Lowering the rear seat back is simply possible on the trunk by pulling two lanyards simultaneously. It's not easy. Technology The two touch screen options might be the primary reason to choose a BRZ in the Toyota 86. Even the standard 6.3 inch screen now is easier to use, especially its adjacent menu buttons. But the brand new 7 inch screen really steps things up with improved functionality, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Audio and navigation. The base touch screen is rather simple make use of and doesn't frustrate as past BRZ touch screens did. But upgrading towards the 7 inch screen is required for its improved graphics, enhanced functionality and also the presence of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. TomTom -tom navigation applications are also included. Smartphone integration. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto come within the limited NTS trim levels. All BRZs get Bluetooth, 
many different streaming audio apps and something USB port, having a second one added for the top two trims. Driver aids. No advanced driver and safety aids are available for the BRZ Beyond rear view camera. Long term road test. To learn more concerning the Subaru BRZ with this generation, watch our updates at a full year of living using a 2013 BRZ. We cover many methods from seat comfort to real world fuel economy. Please note that this 2018 BRZ differs from our long term BRZ in which it received suspension, gearing, engine and equipment modifications not too long ago. It also has a different and improved touch screen. It's the same generation, though, so nearly all of our observations still apply.